Okay, so I want to demonstrate how you can get the some of these LV2 plugins working with just a simple setup. Um, first thing you do is you turn on uh, your jack control, and I press start here. Now I can I need to configure my connections, so I go to connect. And in this case, I want to take this little USB keyboard I've got, <clears throat> connect it to MIDI through. And then I want to come over here and start up a program called Katya. And this does a little bridge between Alza and MIDI. And you just go over here to uh, start bridge. You can press F7 if you want. And you can see that it added some more things here. Now you really don't have to worry about anything on this screen. Matter of fact, you can just click it away. But what's happened is you now have connections here on the MIDI side. So I've got my little keyboard hooked up to MIDI through. And now I'm going to start Aeolus. Now you have a couple more little steps you have to do. Connect Aeolus to your system. Connect Alza to Jack to Aeolus. Now sometimes you can just go direct too, but I usually go this way through Katya uh, just because it seems to work better. Now you can connect your MIDI keyboards. You can have I guess a half a dozen uh, MIDI keyboards or foot pedal controls and all this stuff hooked up to all to Aeolus at once. I've just got one keyboard, so I'm going to put it on um, the channel one, which is these instruments across the middle. Also pick up these sounds by going one plus two. Turn some of these off. So blue is off and, and light blue is on. instruments up here by going here. It's an impressive program and all this is free software. So you can download Aeolus. QJack Control and Katya. And Katya is part of the Cadence package that you find with KX Studio. You have to go to their website. I'm running Ubuntu 1604 Studio so it's got the real-time kernel already established. Um, I'll just show you. 4.4 low latency kernel. So this makes a good kernel for uh, uh, keyboard and music playing because you know you don't have so much latency. Um, so that's Ubuntu Studio. And then, like I say, Katya comes from the Cadence package, 
which I have somewhere here. There's Katya by itself. Yeah, Cadence 8.1. You've got a lot of other programs in here, um, which I haven't really played with very much. Uh, do a lot of sophisticated things like uh, different controls for the way things sound and so forth. Another tip if you are into piano uh, is Piano Tech, and it's an awesome program. I've just got the trial version on, on this one. Uh, but I, I've, I've actually bought it and I've also bought extra instruments like the Bluthner Grand and it works superb with Linux and uh, if you run it through Jack um, you'll get a lot less um, latency too so you can see I just connected it through Jack now the sound you're hearing is coming from a microphone and the instruments are coming through speakers behind the microphone so it may not show off that well but this is an extraordinary sound so I uh, hope that helps and uh, that little trick with Katya works with any of the LV2 programs um, let's see like here's I think Hexter is one of them we'll just see uh, there again, you go to your connections. Sometimes you can just go direct. Let me try that. And it's working. So there's one. Uh, there's a whole bunch of free instruments that you get with um, Ubuntu Studio. This Phase X is a real impressive one if you like this kind of sound. There again, you always have to go to. Uh, connect these things. And here you've got a lot of different programs and patches. Let's see if I can raise my volume a little bit. Okay, so that's it. Um, There's plenty to show, but I just wanted to show this, this Katya because that makes a big difference on uh, some of these things. You can't get them to work without Katya. So that's basically it. Jack Control, Katya. Click on your Connections button right here on Jack Control. Um, and you can plug things up about any which way you want. So I hope that helps.